What's poppin' guys, you got your coach of the Chim Chargers for our week 6 GBA match versus my boy Aaron Cybertron, coach of the Melbourne Rotoms, and he's bringing his rain squad, he has Pelipper, Mimikyu, Kartana, Ludicolo, Mega Swampert, and his Kingdra. We of course have the team from yesterday's building video, our nice anti-rain squad, so if you want to know all the sets and uh, all the details about that, uh, be sure to check out that video, link in the description below. Uh, at a first glance of his team, it uh, is definitely a very threatening team. He's bringing all three of his rain sweepers, so we have to watch out for that, play our win conditions properly, keep our our rain checks healthy, I guess you could say. He's also bringing the Mimikyu and the Kartana, which are definitely two threats that uh, I have prepared for pretty well, I'd say. And I guess Mimikyu could be SD with you know maybe three attacks or something, while Kartana could also be SD potentially because um, he has a lot of rain swift swimmers, so maybe that's that could be SD Kartana because it is his designated Z move user. And I guess maybe Swampert, probably Power Punch, three attacks. Ludicolo could be Life Orb, maybe AV. I think I've seen him bring those a couple times. And uh, his Kingdra could be maybe Specs or or even like Life Orb or D Dance or something. Could work as well. So my goal going into this match was to try to get rid of Pelipper as soon as I can so that his reign cannot be set up anymore. And basically just try to survive. That's really what it is all about. When you play a rain, you basically want to stall out rain turns, try to preserve your win cons, and just try to get rid of his rain, I guess, because that's really what it's all about, trying to stop the weather so that he can't really abuse his Swift Swimmers and then take advantage of it. So we do have Coco Raichu on our team, which can fully abuse, you know, his entire squad, even in the rain. So we do have that, plus, of course, Slowbro Amoongus and uh, Empoleon, which do really well versus his rain, uh, rain sweepers. And we also have our, our Kiram because he does not have any sort of ice resist, so that could be really helpful. I guess a potential lead for us is Kiram, but I did not really want to lead with it in this matchup because he has Mimikyu. If he leaves Mimikyu, he gets off for free Swords Dance or just attack something. So I felt that my best lead in this scenario was going to be my Tapu Koko. Reason is because it threatens out so many things. If he leads Pelipper, which he likely will, it can force that out and I get momentum with U-Turn. If he leads like with Mimikyu, like I said, if I was going to lead Kiram, then I can U-turn on that, break his disguise, and then proceed to going into something like Amoongus. So I think Coco is just the best thing in general, and if he leads with anything else, we are going to be faster than it, more more than likely, without rain, of course, so that's just really great in our, in our advantage there. So let's just go ahead and get into this match, and I'll show you guys what exactly goes down. Let's begin, and uh, see what happens here. Of course, Aaron is going to be challenging me. And this may or may not be his uh, first mistake. I won't spoil that right now. But we'll see what happens here. He leads off, or he leads off, he leads off with his Pelipper. I lead off with Tapu Koko. So I got that right, at least. Um, you know, Pelipper leading off here, which was kind of obvious, I guess. Uh, he's going to be getting up his rain as we get up our electric terrain. So we're both getting up our, kind of getting up our weathers, I guess. Even though terrain's not really a weather. Terrain's a terrain. But he goes into his Ludicolo, predicting his switch. I go right for the U turn here and get a good chunk of damage on this Ludicolo. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go here into my Kiram. It can check this thing really well. Um, it can take any hit, and if he's anything, you know, like Life Orb or something, we can just Oko it right with Ice Beam right now. Uh, he goes for the Ice Beam under his Swift Swim, of course. Not doing too much at all. We can go for our own Ice Beam here, doing a bit more damage, and he actually does get frozen. Look at it just dancing, it just freezes. It's like that one game where you just start moving around and you freeze when the music stops. Uh, but anyways, he goes for the Skull to auto-thaw him which actually does a little bit more than Ice Beam. Uh, under Rain plus Stab move, and that's why it's doing more, I guess. So we are able to knock him out. That thing was definitely AV, being able to take a Specs Kiram's Ice Beam. So he's going to follow up by going into his Mega Swampert, his next Rain his next rain Threat coming out. And I'm just going to switch out here, save my Kiram, go into my Slow Bro, as he goes right for the Mega Evolution, getting off that nice Mega. Look at that nice monster there. Not bad. He's going to go here for his Earthquake. And uh, we can gauge the amount of damage this does. Probably going to be max attack adamant. This thing does a lot of damage to my slow bro, which is very defensive. He's going to go for a power up punch here, which is kind of what I expected. I still want it to be healthy, going for the slack off here instead of immediately attacking because I can actually stall out a turn of rain, an additional turn of rain doing it this way. And um, the electricity wears off, so my terrain is gone. While he goes for an earthquake here after his power up punch, it's going to be doing a significant amount of damage, as you can see. And what I can do right now is go right for the Grass Knot. Just take a chunk of this thing down, but he is able to live. So unfortunately, we don't get the roll there. And he can go for the Earthquake and knock us out. And uh, we do lose our Slowbro, but we already got rid of one of his Rain Sweepers and almost another one right now. So that's looking pretty good for us so far. We still have two more Rain Checks. 
So I'm gonna go to Coco here to get up my terrain. My plan is to sack off Kirim and then go Raichu. But I guess he does think I am Scarfed. So that's another bluff that I could do there by going into Coco with a different intention. But of course, he now, he thought I was Scarf, I think. So he switches out into his, uh, into his Kartana where, as I go into my Kirim. And now what I can do is actually just double out here, not wanting to sack off Kirim just yet. I can double out and go right into my Amoongus. And here's where I come up with a master plan, okay? I have a master plan in mind. He's going to go for the smart strike. So I have a smart strike of my own here. He's going to take some Rocky Helmet Chip. I'm going to predict him to want to go into his Pelipper. And I'm going to make a nice little triple switch here into... Um, well, he's going to get up his rain. I expect him to go Pelipper. My terrain is going to be still up, right? I, I have got the terrain up and everything. I'm going to go into my Empoleon, which is EV to be faster than his Pelipper. I am Assault Vest Empoleon. And I can go right for the the HP Electric under terrain, O-coring the Pelipper. So that the, basically the battle here, that was such a great turning point. The battle here is now in my favor because all I got to do is stall out this rain. And uh, then the rain's gone, then he's playing without rain. So I'm going to go here into my Kirim. As I was going to sack it off before, I'm going to do that right now. And just stick with the other plan that I had by sacking off this Kirim here. Um, I don't really need to go into my Raichu or anything after uh, this because I think the terrain does wear off here. I'm pretty sure it does and uh, now what I can do is actually go into my Amoongus which is still really really healthy at this point and um, yeah he's really healthy right now. He goes for the Ice Punch just to get as much damage as he can off of me. Doesn't really do much at all and I can just knock him out with my Rocky Helmet. They, they call him they call him No Touch Amoongus right there. They call him No Touch. He goes into uh, his Kingdra which is his last Swift Swimmer and now we got a we got a really healthy full HP Empoleon here. Nice Assault Vest. He's going to go for the HP Electric, predicting that, of course. And that actually does a lot of damage. He does get a crit, so that, the crit kind of sucked because, you know, my Empoleon cannot take as many hits now uh, from this Kingdra. Especially since I was going to go for the knockoff here, which I do. So if I was at more HP, I'd be able to probably... I'd, I'd probably be able to live um, at, the, at the, end of the, uh, the end of the day. However, you know, I can just go for an Ice Beam here and just chip away at this Kingdra. Basically just stalling out the rain, and um, he goes for the HP Electric. And I think right now is when the rain wears off. So he's not going to be able to get up any more rain unless one of his Pokemon has Rain Dance. But um, I can bring out Tapu Koko to threaten this uh, Kingdra. I am faster than pretty much the rest of his team from what I can see. And I can just go right here for a Dazzling Gleam to knock this uh, Kingdra out. The way he switched out Kartana out of Amoongus kind of leads me to believe that he's actually could be a Scarf Kartana. So I'm going to go for the U-turn here as he brings in Mimikyu. I want to break this thing's disguise. Don't want him to set up or weaken Coco. Coco can still be very, very useful if I want to get up terrain as a last ditch effort and do something with my Raichu. But I can just go back here into Amoongus as he goes for the SD. His disguise is already broken, so I do pack Foul Play on my Amoongus and I can just go right for that. He goes for the Shadow Claw here. Does a decent amount of damage, probably about 50 I guess, maybe a little bit more. I can go for the foul play and just knock out this Amoongus in one shot. The Rocky Helmet of course really helping out with that damage, uh, with the damage output. And last Pokemon that he can go into now is his Kartana, which of course is going to go for Leaf Blade. I definitely thought, uh, I guess now it does convince me that it is a Scarf Kartana. So I can go for the uh, HP Fire and knock this Kartana out. And that is going to be GG, it is Envy. Amoongus actually picking up 3 kills in this game. Like, like Amoongus was supposed to be the defensive mon here. It actually put in so much work. And I guess it's not really too surprising. Just because of the fact that it just, it just did so much versus a lot of his team. Another special mention that I had besides Amoongus was Empoleon. Shout out to Empoleon. Best defogger. Um, you know, that, that HP electric turn with the triple switch was uh, really, really fire. Like That, that was really cool. Um, just predicting that Pelipper to come in and going to Empoleon after a couple switches before that and then going for HP Electric. That was fire. And we had the terrain up as well, so it really worked out in our favor. I'm really happy about that, really satisfied about this match. And of course, good game to Cybertron. He uh, he played really well. I think really it was like, it just came down to matchup, I feel. Like he had a lot of Pokemon that just could not break through my, uh, my anti-rain core. And I don't think it was really much about, I guess, the way he played more than about how he just, his team couldn't physically break through it, I guess, because we just had so many answers to his team, and I was really prepared for it, I'd say. So yeah, good game to him. Be sure to check out his channel. I'm not sure when he's going to upload uh, his side of the game. I'm not really too sure about that, but either way, he does have great content, so be sure to check that out. And uh, that's going to be it for me. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you guys think, of course. Uh, you know, Looking forward to hearing from you all in the comments. I do, I do still read everybody's comments. And um, other than that, yeah, that's going to be it. So I'll see you guys on the next video. I'll try to get up alive soon, I think. 
Um, it's about time. And uh, uh, other than that, I guess we're playing uh, Joey Pokemon next week for week seven of the GBA. So that's gonna be a fun match. Like I didn't really have too much time to uh, make a team and prepare yet because uh, I uh, I played Cybertron pretty late. So hopefully we can still come through with that. Um, you know, we're halfway done with the season. Uh, six weeks already done. We're five and one, so we're doing pretty well. Uh, the road to playoffs is looking pretty clean. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.